So maybe you can kind of compare and contrast what makes PyMC different from Stan or other ways of uh, training a Bayesian model. Sure, yeah. So Stan is an amazing package and uh, it's, they started around the same time developing it uh, than, than we did with PyMC3. And yeah, so and a lot of their functionality and tools and inference algorithms we just copied from them. So <laughs> you find a lot of huge influence from Stan oh, and cool. PyMC3 and, and they were helping us early on and, and continue to do so. So we're really, uh, yeah, they, they're awesome and they are the ones who like are pushing this field forward a lot. Um, and uh, so, yeah, and I really like the library. There are definitely a couple of like very core differences in terms of choice, in terms of technical choices. Philosophical um, differences. I think the main one, uh, yeah, if, if you want to call it that. Um, and one of them is that they initially, I think, really targeted R, um, which is correct, um, where a lot of the statisticians uh, still operate in, especially the academic ones. Mm -hmm. And um, and they also followed this, I guess, inherited approach from other systems like Winbox I mentioned before, Jax, where you have a specific language um, that is custom to the probabilistic programming system that you're working with, and so it's like its own language that you're writing these models in, and that has its benefits uh, in terms of expressibility, but it has its downside in terms of like this just being, for example, by now there are things like PyStan or CommandStan. Uh, that allow you to also run models in Python, that's fine. But the model code itself would be just a string, right? Um, that you then pass to this like system that runs on C um, somewhere else, so not in Python. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's cool that you can run it from all these different um, packages, uh, from all these different languages. But yeah, um, I think the, uh, for me, I mean, I'm I'm not a statistician. I have a coding background, so and I always have been coding in Python. So, the thing that I love about Python is that it's it's the glue, right? And everything just it sticks to everything. So mm -hmm. everything I can do from within Python and in Python. So for me, uh, not being able to write my model in Python um, is a downside because I really want to be able to yeah um, use the same syntax I use for everything else for plotting for data input outputting. And and then for writing my model, and that then of course translates to other things like uh, just interoperability with the rest of the Python ecosystem, um, where it's it's really just a library and not a framework. And so in terms of like deployability and, and those types of things, it just uh, hooks nicer in there. And I guess related to that is also that um, we have. Build it on top of the Theano library, which was like TensorFlow uh, before it was cool. Um, <laughs> and uh, and uh, well, I guess TensorFlow isn't cool anymore either, but um, now it would be <laughs> the statement is still um, true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and um, so, and Theano was really like uh, so far ahead of its time. Uh, and it's like that first library, right, where you can write these, well, focus on deep learning models. And you build up a computational graph, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was John Salvatier who is like the the actual uh, originator of PyMC three who like thought like oh wait a second like we have this graph computation library that people have written for deep learning couldn't we use that for probability programming and um, and like that was I think the the like absolutely central idea right I mean by now there are other packages like NumPyro or Jax that build on these so it's very standard by now but by back then it was like revolutionary and that approach really um, allowed a lot of other technical innovations I think uh, like I just mentioned with PyMC4 right so if we have PyMC which is really just 100% pure Python code but it's not slow because it's building on top of Theano um, which is that library that is building up that computational graph. And then once you have that computational graph representation, which is the mathematical terms, uh, just like of your model evaluation function, mm -hmm. you can do all kinds of cool shit with that. You can simplify that and like do mathematical simplification. If there's a log of an X of X, well, you just turn that into an X or a lot of other cool things. And 
So you do these optimizations on the compute graph, and then you take that compute graph and you compile it to C or JAX, which is the new thing. Um, and the other thing I, I want to mention there is that I talked about Theano, which uh, was discontinued, which was actually uh, quite a bummer for us. Yeah, with the, the 1.0 uh, release was also the like final release many years ago. Yeah, exactly. They're like, we're done with this. Like, it's uh, as good as it's going to yeah, get. It's, I, my understanding um, of that is that it isn't so much to do with the library being unsuccessful, but it's that so many of the people, Fiona was largely a project, a project out of the University of Montreal, and all the people that were working on it got hired by Google. And yeah. those people were then at Google working on TensorFlow. And so it didn't make sense to be continuing to develop Theano uh, when they were now all these people are working on TensorFlow. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what happened. And for us, we were like, okay, well, maybe let's explore TensorFlow. But um, we, we did. And uh, it turns out it wasn't really a good fit for, uh, I think, probability programming in general, because they, just like Py, uh, PyTorch also followed this dynamic graph approach, um, which by now like these libraries do. Right. And that turned out to be a real pain actually. Um, so Theano is, was different because they didn't allow for like changing, like having this dynamic graph that is just like you run the program and it's creating it on the fly, mm -hmm. but rather you specify it once ahead of time and then you have it and then you can do all this stuff that I just mentioned with the simplification of the compilation. Um, and that actually is a really cool feature we found. Um, and that has caused us to say like, actually Theano is like such an amazing system. Uh, yes, it's like uh, had a lot of like technical debt accumulate over the years, but um, Brenton Willard, who uh, is afraid of nothing was like, okay, well I can handle this. So he took that library and just like completely revamped it, rewrote it um, threw out like a lot of uh, stuff that had accrued hmm. and added cool new function. You know, like, cool new functionality like the JAX backend or number backend. Uh, so made it like a really modern, uh, powerful library that focuses on uh, these type of things. And now it's called Aesara, which is in Greek mythology, the daughter of Theano. So that makes sense uh, yeah. I didn't know that. That's so cool. Asara, A-S-A-R-A? A-E-S-A-R-A. -A -A. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. So and just so really quickly while IMC we're- IMC 4.0. Just really quickly, while we're doing spellings of things, a number of times you've mentioned Numba, which is N-U-M-B-A. Um, yep. And then you've also mentioned JAGS. And so I know that there was a Bayesian library, computational library, J-A-G-S. Ah, but you're also correct, talking about JAX, right? J-A-X. And so this whole time yes. that you've been talking, you've only been talking about the latter, right? J-A-X? That is correct. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So once when I mentioned the historical context of like the old uh, languages, yes. that's when I mentioned Windbugs and Jags. Right. Uh, but every time since then, it's Jax, the Google, um, yeah, uh, computational, like the, the the new TensorFlow, basically. Cool. Awesome. All right. We got all that. All right. And then you were about to talk about IMC 4.0, and I interrupted you to make sure that I was on track with all the acronyms. All right, exactly. Uh, so yeah, and then so PyMC4, uh, by the time this recording will be released, I, um, I okay, well, I will just go in the air and say it will be released by then. Uh, <laughs> so now I have to follow through. So we actually have a hackathon schedule to just like get it out because it's been too long. It will be out. And uh, that is then now based on our Sara. Um, and so it has like all the cool functionality that is now in there. Um, specifically, like I mentioned, the JAX and the GPU support. Um, but then it has like all kinds of other cool new uh, features as well that we're really excited about. So can't wait to get that out. And uh, yeah, really continue to push uh, what's possible in probabilistic programming.